All right, welcome back to another live stream, guys. Today we are doing some Kahoot. Nice, okay, we are live, awesome. Let me go ahead and wait for people to join the chat once again. Yeah, we did this a couple days ago. I think you guys really enjoyed it. I think this was like our most popular stream to date. So I decided, you know what, why not run it back? And this time I'm gonna also give the winners a role in my Discord server. So if you guys haven't joined it already, be sure to do so by clicking on the link pinned to the stream chat. What's up guys, we have Amar, Riha, Gloomy, Storm, Sully, Skylight, Duck. Well, great to see you again. Pop Linda, what's up? Thank you for tuning in. Joy Boy Banana, uh, Akansha. Hello, Gabe, Robbie. <laughs> what's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to another live stream, guys. Today, we're going to have some fun by doing some Kahoot once again. Uh, we did this a couple days ago. It seems like you guys really enjoyed it. So we're going to jump in very, very soon. Shout out to Olivia. Thank you for tuning in. Go hard, do an AP class tier list. That is in the works. My brother and I. I'm gonna do a video about that. Maybe we could do a live stream about it as well. I feel like that could be kind of fun. But here we go. Guys, let's go ahead and choose a Kahoot to play. I'll go ahead and post whatever you want in the stream chat. We have uh, some winter related ones. We have space, human body, climate, weather, matter, uh, forces in motion. We have a bunch about Mars, resources, engineering, uh, women in STEM, sensing our climate, data science and AI. We have a bunch of different options. Okay, geography. I think everyone says, ge is there geography somewhere here? Wait, oh, oh, okay. Let's go back here. Yeah, I don't think there's like a geography one. Engineering, AI. Okay, so you guys want to do like something related to Earth. Or maybe like planets or something. Resources. Hmm. Okay. 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 Maybe we could do, we could do climate or weather in that case. Since you guys are saying geography and I feel like these two are like the closest categories. Uh, Duke, thank you so much for the $2 super chat. Hi, can you do college basketball? Are you asking me? Like, wait, I don't fully understand the question, but, um, if you're asking if I did college basketball, no. Okay. Okay. Astronomy. Space, astronomy. Okay, I think everyone's saying astronomy. Weather. Okay, so astronomy it is. Why not? I think astronomy is the one that people get most excited about. Okay, so we have done most of these. Extreme weather across the solar system. Okay, I think we could do extreme weather. We could also do... There's a few more. Okay, guys, keep that in mind. So we have extreme weather we could do how do rockets fly so extreme weather we could do rockets extreme weather rockets i think gravity would be kind of cool as well okay so weather rockets or gravity i want you guys to go ahead and post your opinion in the stream chat duke thank you so much for the two dollar super chat a college basketball kahoot i could potentially do it i'll I'm not too sure if everyone would be interested in one, but you know, maybe I'll run a poll later in the stream and I'll see if people want to do like a basketball kahoot. Gravity, gravity. Okay, I think gravity is the most popular one. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's see, loading up. Let's go ahead and play as guest, start. And guys, the pin is now about to appear on screen. Go ahead and type it as quickly as you can. One eight uh one eight zero nine five seven two. Okay, so guys, everyone go ahead and join the Kahoot as quickly as possible. I'm not too sure how many people are in today's stream, but maybe we'll stop it at like 200 players or so, uh, depending on how much... Okay, people are joining pretty fast. So, uh, do should I keep donating? If you want to, I, I, there's no need. There's no need to donate if, if you don't want to. Better yet, I, if you guys want to donate in today's stream, I recommend that you instead join the channel membership because I will soon be doing exclusive members only live streams. Those are gonna be like way smaller and maybe with just like, you know, a few dozen of us and I can kind of talk to you guys in like a more intimate setting, I guess. So if you guys wanna donate, I recommend joining the channel membership first and foremost. Okay, 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 so here we go. We have a lot of people joining, we have 230. I think we'll go ahead and stop at 250 players. It's my first stream, I'm so glad to hear Galactic. Hopefully you uh, enjoy it. Okay, so, and there we go. We are at 250 players. Let's go ahead and begin. And guys, if you are just tuning in, you can still join the Kahoot by using the pin at the bottom of the screen. It's going to appear in just a second here. All right, there we go. There it is. 
And it's so funny to see how the chat just absolutely freezes whenever the game begins. So a question of direction, does gravity really pull down? We can go ahead and skip the video. So here we go, we have a quiz. When we talk about gravity on Earth, what does up mean? Away from Earth or toward Earth? All right. The answers are coming in very fast. We already have over 100 answers. We already have over 200 answers. We already have over 250 answers. We're already approaching 300 answers on this question. So the, uh, the answer is away from Earth. Most of you guys got that correct. And in number one, we have Jake with 1,000 points. Congratulations. Let's go ahead and move on to the next question. So when we, okay, so again, some of these questions are just so ridiculously easy. I think these games are more so just like a matter of speed uh, than anything. Oh, and I forgot to say, if you guys have Discord or if you're in my Discord server, use your Discord username as your Kahoot username. So that way I can give you like a special uh, role if you end up winning a game. And the answer is toward Earth. Nice. And j the whole leaderboard just shifted. The real sky, mango, hig, warrior bear. Congrats. Oh, oh, 95 places, go hard. Even though I, I'm not playing, guys. Okay, next question. Quiz, what is gravity? An attraction between any two objects made of matter. An attraction between any two objects with the po uh, opposite charges. A repulsion between any two objects made of matter or a repulsion between any two objects with similar charges. Oh, move face cam. Oh, thank you. My bad. I always... Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry, we are going to do a couple... <laughs> We're going to do another game without my face cam in the way. Sorry about that. Okay, and it seems like a lot of you guys got that one correct an attraction between any two objects made of matter. So next question, the real sky is still in number one. Hannah uh, has an answer streak of three. All right, multi-select. Which of these objects are made of matter? Choose all the correct answers. Yeah, I am very sorry about the face cam. So you have earth, a fish, a robot, or you. And by the way, guys, if you are just joining the stream, the pin is at the bottom. Kahuta it, one eight zero nine five seven two. This is hard. I mean, yeah, I think the matter one was definitely a bit more challenging than the first two questions. I think the first two were just straight up, just, um, they, they, they were just easy points. You're my favorite YouTuber. That means a lot basketball. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Can I get a shout out to shout out to JS tries. Thank you for tuning in. And the answer was all four. It seems like most of you guys chose all four. Next question. Oh, the leaderboard did not change that much. Okay, we have true or false, and this one is double the points. The moon is made of matter, so there is some gravity attracting objects on Earth toward the moon. What do you guys think? Okay, and what's the pin, guys? The pin is at the bottom of the screen, 1809572. You can join by going to kahoot.it. Gohar, can you say I love school? There we go, I just said it. Say hi if you can read this, Gohar. Uh, I can read it, Ellie. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah, if you guys want to talk to me, now is the chance because the chat totally slows down during these Kahoot games. So it's kind of easier to see these messages. Uh, most of you guys got that correct. The answer was true. We had a lot of shifting in the leaderboard here. And 43 players have reached an answer streak of five. Awesome. Next question. What do we got? Multi-select again. What does the rubber band, correct, or rubber band correctly model about Earth's gravity? Choose all the correct answers. What's up, Super? What's up, Gamer? Hello, hello everyone, what's up? Thank you for tuning in. And here are the four answer choices. It affects objects uh, even when they aren't touching the Earth. Touching Earth, it pulls objects toward Earth. It works only at the Earth's equator or it works all around Earth. Thank you so much for the helpful tips. Of course, thank you so much for the support, Ari. Appreciate you tuning in. Lachlan is asking, how's your day? Been pretty good so far. Uploaded a YouTube short just like an hour ago. So I'm pretty happy about that. And there we go. It was everything except for it only works at Earth's equator. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We had a huge uh, shift up in the leaderboard. The real sky still in number one. Congrats. Next question. Double the points. So which of these statements about Earth is correct? Okay, the bottom of Earth is Antarctica. The bottom of Earth is the Arctic. Earth has no bottom, objects anywhere on the surface are pulled toward it, or the top and bottom of the Earth move unpredictably over time. 
Someone is asking what is, uh, what's the link? The link is kahoot.it. And here's the pin if you guys want to join the game. Okay, and guys, remember, in the next Kahoot game, I want you to use your Discord username as your Kahoot username. And that way I can give the winner a special role in my Discord server. And by the way, if you haven't joined the Discord, uh, my Discord URL is pinned to the stream chat. And so there we go. The answer is Earth has no bottom. Objects anywhere on the surface are pulled toward it. And there we go. That was the first Kahoot. Let's see. Who do we have in number three? Uh, Chris with almost 8,000 points. SVN with 81. And with almost 10,000 points, we have The Real Sky. Congratulations on the win. I'm not sure if The Real Sky is in the Discord server, but if you are, feel free to go ahead and send a message right now and I'll give you the role. And here, let's go back to... Let's go back to... The Browse page. All right. Kahoot. I forgot to open up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and find a new game. Okay, Kahoot Explorer. I just wanna find the Kahoot Explorer page. Okay, so there we go. And we did the Museum of Science. These are pretty solid. Okay, so we also have other options, but I'm not too sure if they're free to play as guests. So that's why I'm just kind of sticking with Museum of Science for now. So do you guys wanna do Space, winter fun, human body, climate, weather, matter, or forces in motion. Go ahead and post what you guys want to do in the stream chat. Okay, again, God, thank you for the $2 super chat. Easiest and hardest AP class. Uh, I'm going to answer that in just a second. I just see that the real sky joined the Discord server. And I'm going to go ahead and give them the special role. Okay, so here we go. The real sky, I'm going to go ahead and give you your event winner role. There we go. Congrats. Okay, I think easiest for me was AP environmental science. Hardest was probably AP chem. Would have been AP physics, but my school didn't offer it. Okay, what are people saying? Human body. We could do human body. We have never done a human body one on the stream. Oh, I think the brain one could be cool. Are you guys down for that? Use your brain. Let me know. Go ahead and say yes or no in the stream chat. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Join my discord. Oh, it seems like you can't pin links in the chat anymore, but here we go, I'll pin the message again. My Discord link is Discord, oh, it's discord.gg, I messed it up. Sorry about that, here we go. .gg slash gohar, join my, oh, there we go. Okay, so now I have posted the correct Discord link. Okay, so guys, if you win one of these cahoots, I'll give you a special role on my Discord server. Uh, so be sure to use your Discord username when you, uh, Choose your Kahoot name. I'm seeing a lot of no's all of a sudden. What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. So we got to do a poll. Okay. Brain Kahoot, yes or no? Let me pull my face back up here. So it seems like we have some... I think everyone is saying yes at first, but now I'm seeing a lot of no's. So we, let's see. What do you guys say? Okay, I think yes is in the lead. 65%. Okay, it's 60-40-ish. All right, all right. Okay, I think most of you guys are saying yes. Okay, so we'll do it. We'll do the brain kahoot. Okay, continue as guest. Let's just keep this open in a different tab so we can go back to it. Okay, play as guest, start. And I'll hide my face this time. Sorry about that last time. Okay, loading game pin again. Uh, use your Discord username if you want a special role in my Discord. All right, so the pin is here. I'll go ahead and wait for people to join. Carrying Finch46, the first one to join. And again, the pin is 817-8643. And there we go. The chat has frozen, which means that everyone has kahoot up on their phones or their computers, and they're trying to join as quickly as possible. Uh, someone is asking MIT or Caltech. I got a MIT, of course. Um, that is a very subjective answer because <laughs> that is where I went to school. But Caltech is also an amazing school. 
Okay, we have over 300 players. Maybe we'll stop at like 350-ish. And remember guys, use your Discord username if you are if you want the special role in my Discord for winning. Go hard, Ronaldo or Messi? To be honest, I don't really follow soccer, but I'm going to have to go with Ronaldo. And yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to explain. <laughs> I'm not going to go further than that. Go hard, thank you so much for everything. Of course, thank you for the support. And we have 370 players. Maybe we'll start at 400. Here, I'll let you guys keep joining. And guys, once again, here is the pin at the very top. All right, and we are almost at 400. Oh, I think we've reached the peak. Are we going to hit 400? I don't think so. Six more players. Come on, four more. And there we go, 400. Let's go ahead and start the game. All right. Use your brain. Three seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and start. True or false? A child's brain gets larger as they get older. All right, what do you guys think the answer is? Matthew is saying, I won last time my, Neil, my name was Neil. Unfortunately, I think I'm only going to give the Discord role to people who win um, during this stream only. Uh, because if I give the role to you, then I'll have to give it to all of the previous winners, which is just going to be really chaotic. Okay, the answer is true. Congrats. And number one, we have Mitch Beast one. And wow, the top five all have 1000 points. Okay, slider about how many centimeters long is an adult brain? Go ahead and choose your answers. Okay, someone is saying IB or AP for American unis. It doesn't matter. Whatever your school offers, just take the hardest classes you can. Also, is taking the SAT or ACT necessary if you're applying as an international student? If it's test optional, your choice. Um, it doesn't really matter if you're international or domestic. Okay. Pastor Pringles, thank you so much for the 199 super chat. What's up? Taking AP Physics next year. Any tips? Unfortunately, I never took AP Physics or my school didn't offer it. I encourage you to maybe hop onto my Discord, and I don't mean this in like a promotional way, but just ask around because we have a community there. I'm sure many students uh, have taken AP Physics and can give you some insight. Okay, number one, Charles, congratulations. Up 249 spots. Uh, say congratulations. Let's move on to the next question. Question five, what would a brain feel like if you touched it? Someone is asking, did you study in Cambridge? No, I studied at MIT. All right, smooth, furry, <laughs> wrinkly, or prickly. Again, some of these questions are just ridiculously easy, but hopefully everyone gets this correct. Or most people, at least. Shout out to SBK, thank you for tuning in. And the answer is wrinkly. <laughs> A lot of people chose smooth. And to, to an extent, maybe, you know, like some parts maybe, but yeah, wrinkly. Next question, question six. The texture of the brain is the most similar to which of these objects? Theorist fan, thank you so much for the 199 super chat. Appreciate you. Okay, so we have some images here. We have rocks, marshmallows, marbles, or leaves. Kai just said depends on whose brain. That's funny. Okay, we have over 300 answers already. Guys, and the timer has run out. The answer is marshmallows. Most of you guys got that correct. The leaderboard is pretty strong like very little movement here nine players with an answer streak of three cool okay true or false your skull is made of one bone true or false what do you guys think the answer is and guys if you're just tuning in uh everyone or all the kahoot winners in today's stream will get a special role in my discord server you can join my discord by clicking on the link that is pinned to the stream chat hope to see you guys there Okay, the answer is false. Yeah, I can see that one That one was a bit trickier. All right, quiz. Your brain is part of the blank system. Stream lag? Oh, sorry about that. Uh, from my end, it seems like it's fine, but let me know if it continues. What's up, Duck? Welcome back. Okay, we have circulatory, nervous, skeletal, or skeletal or respiratory. Can I get a shout out? Shout out to Gabriel. Thank you for tuning in. All right, what do you guys think the answer is? Okay, the answer is nervous, and pretty much everyone got that correct. And six players have hit an answer streak of five. Okay, true or false, 
your brain shuts off while you sleep. What do you guys think? I hope you stream tomorrow. Yeah, I do plan to stream tomorrow. I really want to stream every single day. That's sort of like the goal. Okay, and there we go. Everyone is answering. We are almost at 400 answers. Nice. And guys, within the next week, I hope to host, or within the next month, maybe, I hope to host my first members-only live stream. So join the channel membership if you haven't already. Would love to see you there. Okay, quiz, we have multi-select. Which of these actions would uh, use your brain? Select all the correct answers. Seeing a drawing, smelling a flower, tasting an apple, or hearing a dog bark. Okay, <laughs> I, want, I want everyone to get this one correct. Everyone. I need everyone to get this one. Uh, correct. Can you say happy birthday, Roger? Of course. Happy, bir uh, happy birthday, Roger. Hope you've been having a great day. And there we go. Almost everyone got that one correct. No little movement here. Oh, and now we have a puzzle. So this one is different. You're going to have to rearrange the, uh, the four options. Someone is saying, how do you get this wrong? <laughs> Yeah, no, a lot of these questions, it's just like a speed test more so. All right, you walk across the street. Your brain send the, sends a message to your body saying walk forward. The traffic signal changes to walk. Uh, then your eyes send a message to the brain saying the signal says walk. Steers fan, thank you so much for the 199 super chat. Do you have any tips for upcoming grade 9 classes? Grade 9 classes, okay, so I'm assuming you're going from like middle school to high school. Uh, and middle school students usually don't have like productivity systems. So I recommend using Google Calendar, setting up a to-do list, maybe having like a study partner and setting up time blocks for study sessions. Uh, I-K-R-U-W-M. Oh, I know. Maybe I'm mispronouncing that. <laughs> Saying, hello, how do I join? If you're talking about the channel membership, click on the little like dollar button next to the chat and then click on membership. All right, Torn Gaming, thank you so much for the $5 super chat going to be a freshman next year any classes you recommend that has to do with tech if you have any intro computer science or any intro programming courses i highly recommend taking them even if you don't want to study computer science i feel like just having a cs background or knowing how to code at least is a very very useful skill all right next question we have true or false your brain helps you both learn new things and remember old things Can you say hi to my cat, Mindy? What's up, Mindy? <laughs> coding is fun. I agree. I love coding. I've been coding since like middle school. What time do you usually stream? Usually around this time, like 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern. Oh, it's 9 a.m. for you? Wow. Uh, okay, so the answer is true. And now we have a poll. What is one thing you have done to protect your brain? Some people are saying coding sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's tough. It's tough. I feel like the best way to learn coding is to work on a project that you're like passionate about. Um, I feel like if you learn coding in isolation, then it becomes kind of monotonous. Okay, so what have you guys... Uh, I think this is multi-select, or I think just choosing one option. Uh, but yeah, this one, there we go. Most people ch have selected wearing a helmet. Nice. And so here's the podium. And number three, with 9,367 points, we have Party Socks HD. And number two... With 9,700 points, we have Zed. And in number one, with almost 9,900 points, we have Crew Z Cruising. Nice, congratulations. Cruising, if you are in the Discord right now, I want you to go ahead and say hi so I can give you your role. All right. Or if any of the mods are watching this stream right now, be sure to give Cruising his event winner role. That would be, that would be much appreciated. Okay, so now let's go back to this. So we have done a handful of cahoots. Maybe we can explore different ones as well. Unless you guys want to do one of these. Start, guys, start posting what you want to do. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of heart anatomy. Let's see. Ge Everyone always posts geography, even though there isn't like a geography category. Unless I'm totally missing something on the screen. Science, science in general. Okay, here, let's do something that maybe... I think matter is sort of like science in general, like... Mass solutions. 
Making diamonds. Okay, I think one of these matter ones would be interesting. Or forces in motion. Okay, I think what is gravity? Or maybe we can do... Everyone, here, I'll go ahead and create a poll. So I'll create a poll with multiple options. Which one? So we have, I'll put gravity down. I can put heart, but I think it was in Spanish. Oh, circulatory system, upper elementary. Okay, so let's just do gravity. I'll just put heart down for that one. What other options do we have? I think we can do mass solutions and chemical changes. Maybe kitchen chemistry sound, seems a bit more fun. So I'll do gravity, heart, kitchen, and one more option. What are you guys saying? Let's see, resources. I think engineering, we haven't done much engineering. Ice cream engineering, I'll do ice cream, why not? That one seems kind of fun as well. All right, let me go ahead and start the poll. Guys, go ahead and vote on what you wanna do next. Okay, we have four. Uh, Nobody has voted for ice cream yet. Okay, never mind. Ice cream is now in the lead. <laughs> All right, everyone, go ahead and vote on the poll. It's in the uh, it's in the stream chat. We'll go ahead and begin real soon. Oh, cruising is here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give cruising his role on my Discord server as you guys keep voting on the poll. So cruising, there we go. You now have the event winner. Roll on my Discord server. Cool. Congratulations again. So in number one, we have ice cream with 41%, ice cream and gravity. So maybe we'll do those two next. So let me go ahead and end the poll. And let's go ahead and continue as guest. Let's begin. Oh, Duck just had lag. Oh, maybe I got to get new internet or something. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Get ready to join. The pin is... 227-370. And guys, once again, use your Discord username for your Kahoot name so that if you win, I can give you the event winner role. Slava is asking, how many colleges did you go to? Or by that, if you mean get into, uh, like 10-ish? All right, and there we go. The chat has now frozen as people are joining. So maybe we'll start this at 350. Okay, we're at 250 right now, or maybe 300, if it starts to slow down a bit. Go hard, do you like drawing? I I do like art. Uh, I'm not like a an artist, really. Like, I don't really draw in my free time, but I do enjoy it whenever I have to. I guess for my videos, for example. Okay, 300, let's do 350. And then we'll go ahead and start. And let's go ahead and begin. Oh, 340, there we go, 350, cool. Ice cream, and I'm really curious to see what kind of questions we're about to get, but what kinds of problem solving happen behind the scenes for a, of a tasty treat? Okay, I'm curious to see what the question is. <laughs> okay, true or false? There is only one process that is used to make ice cream. I feel like just based on the wording of that question, like the answer is relatively obvious. Like I feel like it's trying to bias you into like one direction, but um, it's kind of clear what the answer is. All right, the answer is false. Yep, there we go. And at number one, we have Lucas. Congratulations. Uh, top four, all of the thousand points. Okay. What is a process? I thought this was a cahoot about ice cream. Okay. <laughs> the question is, what is a process? A moving object, a series of steps, a computer chip, or a group of objects? I need everyone to get this one correct as well. Roy said, couldn't be the earliest ones. Dang. But Roy, great to see you here again. Appreciate you. Appreciate you stopping by. And there we go. A series of steps. Pretty much everyone got that correct. And there we go. Leaderboard is holding up strong. True or false? The process used to make ice cream is a technology. Uh, these questions are like so broad. Like, what is a process? Is it a technology? Shout out to Arjun. Thank you for tuning in. 
Gohar, what was your SAT score? I took the ACT, got a 35, which is the equivalent to like a 1560 on the SAT. Oh, this is one was pretty split. Uh, the answer is true. Up 166 places, Dr. Slow. Congratulations. The top three all have a perfect score of 3,000. Wow. Okay. The engineering design process is a series of steps engineers use to explain events, solve products, solve problems, or persuade people. Roy, go I'm in China right now. Wait, for what? That's uh, that's very cool. Like, I, I do want to travel to China um, at some point. Goro, what is the best pen you recommend? I haven't used many to have like one recommendation. I think the pilot pens, I used those a good amount during high school. And the answer was solve problems. Awesome. 25 players have reached an answer streak of three. Top three all have 4,000 points. That is ridiculously impressive. Okay, now we have a multi-select quiz. Why does ice cream in the batch uh, freezers not freeze into a solid block? Select all the correct answers. I think someone asked something about Khan Academy. Go hard, do you like Khan Academy? Of course, use it a bunch during high school and contrary to popular belief, Sal Khan is not my father. So I get that comment so, so often. Gohar, what grade should you get a computer for studying? I think by the time you reach high school, you should definitely get a computer. Maybe even middle school, to be honest. Okay, churning air bubbles, uh, spinning blades keep ice crystals small. Those were the two correct answers. Okay, and there we go. Finally, people no longer have perfect scores. Uh, nimble, congratulations on being number one. Next question, true or false? The team designed a process for making ice cream perfectly on their first try. Again, some of these questions are just trying to bias you in a certain direction, but, but it's kind of obvious what the answer is here. All right, true or false. And guys, if you are just tuning in, all of the winners are getting a special role in my Discord server. Um, so be sure to join if you have not already. Okay, false. Next question, quiz. What helped the engineers avoid making mistakes they had already made? Okay, I think that all these questions pertain to like the video that we were supposed to watch that I kind of skipped over, but uh, hopefully we can still give our best guesses here. How many AP classes should a sophomore take to get into a good college? Again, however many you can take. My school only allowed students to take one, but I remember going to the guidance counselor, asked her if I could take two, and she let me. And yeah, <laughs> push yourself, I feel. Next question. What job does liquid nitrogen do in the ice cream making process? It moves the ice cream around. It breaks the ice cream into tiny crystals. It very quickly makes the ice cream cold, or it adds air to the ice cream. Mine is off timing. Yeah, there is a slight delay between when these questions pop up on the screen and when it probably comes up on your phone. Okay, here we go. Go, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. Okay, 154 got it correct. Gohar's Riz is back <laughs> with an answer streak of three. Nice. Gohar, do you know Benjamin? Of him, don't know him personally. He's like the IOI winner, I believe, or one of the Olympiads. Okay, so order the steps in the process from the first at the top to the last at the bottom. How do you deal with a teacher that dislikes you? I feel like the first part that you kind of have to figure out is why do they dislike you? Because I feel like with some students, maybe it's just because like, maybe like you're misbehaving, right? That That's like one common issue. But I feel like on the other end, if you're like too much of a teacher's pet, or if you're like trying too hard um, and trying to like, you know, just get every point you can possibly get and you're always asking for extra credit, I feel like that can also be like a reason that like a teacher might dislike you. So I feel like it varies or the answer varies depending on what the reason is. 
All right, we have 12 seconds left. 270 people have already answered. What is your least favorite class? Ooh, I think in high school is definitely one of the history ones. Wow, only 24 people got this one correct. I feel like, wow, I have never seen a question stump this many people on the stream. But uh, congrats to those 24 people. All right, here we go. Here's the podium. And number three, with uh, almost 8,000 points, we have Nimble. In number two, with 8,300, we have Max. And in number, fun, uh, number one, we have Rishi with 8,500 points. Rishi, congratulations. Rishi H, if you are in my Discord server, I'm happy to give you your role right now. Rishi, if you are in the Discord, go ahead and say hi. I'm looking at my Discord server right now. <laughs> it seems like a lot of people in the Discord are kind of ranting right now about the who. Oh, Rishi H, go ahead, I won. Awesome. Let me go ahead and give you your event winner role. There we go. Enjoy. Let me just go ahead and uh, drop a GG. Okay, so the next most popular option in the poll was gravity. So we can go ahead and do some gravity. So I'm just saying, how many are you going to do? Not entirely sure. I'll do another one at least, at least this one. And then we'll see how we're feeling right after this. Okay, let's go down here. Heart anatomy. Okay, let's go. Where is gravity? I think it was. I guess I'm sure I'm sure it's like in the in the space one, but I feel like the gravity one that I saw was somewhere else. I forget where we caught it. We can do gravity and escape velocity. I feel like that's close enough. Here, let's run that one. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Play as guest, start. Duck is asking, any tips on getting better at Python? So I should, will you upload some coding videos soon? I've thought about uploading a short about how to learn coding or how to get started. Not sure if I'm gonna do that, but I feel like if you wanna learn Python, a good resource I used back in the day was Codecademy, but I feel like they've paywalled a lot of stuff. Maybe maybe some of the core lessons are still free, I'm not too sure. But I feel like there are some YouTube videos that are like three, four hours long that'll just give you like an introductory crash course. Okay, I think uh, we have... All right, so we have some bots joining the Kahoot game right now. Um... <laughs> Okay, maybe we'll have to stop the Kahoot. Yeah, we have a bunch of bots here right now. But they all have Gohar on top in their username, so. If we see, it, we'll kind of dis disqualify any of the Gohar on tops that uh, end up in the leaderboard. All right, let's go ahead and begin. Gravity and escape velocity. W3 schools is good for coding. Yeah, I used a lot of W3 schools back in the day as well. I just feel like that resource is a bit controversial. I remember people being like, oh no, some of the lessons are inaccurate or they're wrong. But that, that was a while ago, back in like 2014, 2015. Okay. First question, which force makes it most difficult to leave Earth? Shout out to V-Twins, thank you for tuning in. The four options, friction, gravity, Magnetism or tension? All right, let's see. Everyone is answering. We have almost, almost 300 answers right now. Okay, and the answer is gravity. Next question. I think Jamal was in first place. Okay, what is the main cause of the gravity that makes it hard to leave Earth? Do colleges want you to be well-rounded? I think the students who stand out are the ones that are more spiked slash like angular. You might hear that term as well. 
but there are well-rounded students who get into top, into top colleges for sure. Okay, so what is the main cause of the gravity that makes it hard to leave Earth? The mass of the Earth, the mass of the Moon, the mass of the rocket or other spacecraft, or the mass of the Sun? And the answer is the mass of Earth. Tris, congratulations. We have top three people, all with 2,000 points, up 104 places. John, congratulations. Question six, what is escape velocity? Duck has to head out. Well, thank you for tuning in, Duck. Uh, have fun at the gym. Okay. The maximum speed an object can fall through the air, the speed of light, the speed required to get off a planet or other body and into orbit, or the speed of sound. What do you guys think? Three, two, one. And the answer is the speed required to get off a planet or other body and into orbit. 123 players have an answer streak of three. All right, next question, true or false? The greater a planet or other body's mass, the greater the escape velocity needed to leave it. Shout out, please shout out to Devesh. Thank you for tuning in. All right, I think I might stop the shout outs for a little bit. Uh, is photography a unique extracurricular? I think it's definitely an interesting one. Uh, I think there are a lot of students who do do photography, but I feel like it's interesting. I feel like it'll add a cool dimension to your application, and I think it should definitely be highlighted. So the answer is true. Most of you guys got that correct. Another true-false question. More massive objects require less force to get into orbit. Tips for AP Bio. Okay, thinking back to AP Bio... I just think about all like the diagrams and like different, I feel like it's very memory intensive. So I feel like I practice using different memory techniques. I have used the loci method for like my bio classes, for like honors bio when I took that and then for AP bio when I took that. Uh, the answer is false. Two players still with perfect scores. But yeah, the loci method, chunking, uh, like acronyms, acronyms are huge. Uh, they can be like rhyming acronyms, you know, they can relate to, maybe they can be like little like common sayings. Happy to dive into more detail, but I think I might pause it right there. Uh, did you do any experiments in bio? I believe I, we did. Yeah, but they weren't as common as in like AP Chem. All right, which of the following would require the most force? And the answer is a massive rocket leaving Earth. Most people got that correct. <laughs> Still have top two, 6,000 points. And now you have multi-select. Double the points as well. What is your most recommended study technique? I feel like there are a few that I like a lot. One that I'll recommend right now is teaching others. I feel like that one is not underrated. I think a lot of people know it's super helpful, but I feel like just teaching others, I have found really helps me digest just like complicated topics, especially when it comes to social studies or history. Go hard is listening to music good for studying. For math and science, I think listening to some like soundtracks is pretty helpful, but for like English or history, I'm not a huge fan of listening to music, but of course it's like a personal thing. All right, the answer is throw the ball higher or throw a more massive ball. Next question, multi-select, double the points. A person is throwing a ball in the air. What would take less force to do? Choose all the correct answers. Okay, and just to all the people that are tuning in, I'm trying to stream much more often, hopefully every single day. Uh, so if you guys wanna be notified, be sure to turn notifications on and join my Discord server because I'll be sending announcements there uh, when I'm going live. Is band a good extracurricular? Because my mom doesn't think so. Band is good. I mean, it's a bit common, but I think if you can go far, you know, if you do it for like all th like three, four years, then yeah, you should definitely include it and it'll help your application, but it is pretty common. Okay, 
here is the podium. And number three, Mr. Frosty with 9,800 points, Floppy with almost 99, and with practically, yeah, 99, just almost 10,000 points, uh, Jean, Jean, hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly, congratulations. All right, sweet, that was fun. And uh, Jean, if you are in the Discord server, go ahead and say hi so I can go ahead and give you a roll. Let's see, is he here? Oh, he is here, okay, awesome. GG, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the event winner roll. Nice. Okay, cool. So we have been streaming for around an hour now. One more, one more hard. <laughs> you guys wanna keep going? Here, I think a lot of you guys have questions. So maybe we'll like switch over to a live Q&A right now as I play some Minecraft. And maybe I'll do that for like 30 minutes or so, 20 minutes or so. We'll see, we'll see how you guys are feeling about it. But I think we need to take a break from Kahoot for, for a little bit. Cause we just ran like a handful of games back to back to back to back. So let's just go ahead and take some time to chat for a little bit. And hopefully uh, we do well in, uh, in Minecraft today. So I think so far we got all iron armor. We have a bunch of food. So let's go ahead and maybe we can build a house right now. Do you guys want us to do that? And as I'm doing that, I can answer a bunch of your guys' questions about study tips, college applications, homework, whatever it is. All right, game capture. Let's bring that back. Why isn't I capturing Minecraft? Oh, there we go, cool. And let's bring me back up here as well. All right, awesome. So yeah. Guys, go ahead and start posting your questions in the stream chat. And let's, one more Kahoot. Maybe we'll go back to Kahoot after uh, like a little break here. All right, guys, I want you to ask like the deepest questions you can possibly think of. Like questions that'll like, maybe like, like for which like the answers aren't super obvious or maybe will like require some nuance or maybe we all have to kind of pitch in, right? I feel like those kinds of answers are the most fun to give. Okay, so we left off last time. We have, oh, we don't have, we have our iron helmet. Cool. So we have iron armor. Let's go ahead and see what we want to do. We can either cave right now or we can go and maybe build like a house slash shelter. Oh, we have wool. So we can build like a bed slash a little shelter if we want to. Here, let me see what you guys want to do first. Let me go ahead and ask a poll. So what should we do? Go caving or build a house? And let me see, what questions can we pull out here? Do you have a job beside YouTube? So yeah, so half of what I do is running Next Adnet, which is a college admissions company that I founded a couple years ago. And the other half is social media. So YouTube, TikTok, uh, Instagram as well. All right, 68% of people are saying build a house. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that, cool. And let's see, what questions do we have? Get some diamonds, we'll do that soon. Gohar is singing a good extracurricular. I mean, yeah, I think it's a solid extracurricular. Like the reality is any extracurricular is a good one as long as it's something you genuinely care about and go, go far in. Like quite, for college admissions, you can quite literally do anything as long as it doesn't raise a red flag. And I feel like, you should fully embrace like the hobbies or like the activities that you think might be a little cringe or even like weird. Um, like those are the ones that colleges will notice and will seem you like make you seem like more of a real person, you know? Can you play Among Us with viewers? <laughs> uh, probably not in this stream. Is a sport a good idea in high school? Uh, for the resume, if your kneecap is prone to dislocation. Sports are not necessary by any means. Like if you play sports and you 
you know, you, you do so because you genuinely want to, then great. But if you're doing so for college admissions, there's no need. I remember that that's what I was doing my freshman year of high school. Like I was in track and cross country, mostly for college admissions. Realized I didn't really enjoy them, so I didn't really continue with them. My brother Maha, though, he continued with cross country all four years. Uh, became varsity, became captain. It was like a huge part of his application, but it wasn't really a huge part of mine. Okay, what other questions do we have? How do I start high school? So we can do a we can do that question. Just go ahead and say yes or no if you want like intro to high school tips or like starting high school tips. Because I think that really depends on how many middle schoolers versus high schoolers we have on the stream right now. Okay, so now we are back on surface. Let's go ahead and find a place where we can build our shelter. And if you if you, if you guys are just tuning in, we played a handful of games of Kahoot. We will probably go back to Kahoot maybe in a bit, but I also just want to take a little break because I was just going off. I was just talking nonstop for, um, you know, just kind of com commentating Kahoot for way too long. All right, everyone is saying yes. Cool. So let's go ahead and do the high school question then. And if you guys are in high school, go ahead and give your best tips for high school as well. Like post them in the stream chat for all of the younger viewers that are currently here. But let me go ahead and go on a little rant, not a little rant, but like a little monologue about high school. So I think the first thing you'll notice is that in high school, people are gonna be a lot less judgmental. I think middle schoolers are just, <laughs> like, like everyone is trying just, to be cool and everyone is very much just kind of judging each other I feel you know like what you're wearing what you're doing what you're saying but in high school I think people are much more open to the fact that you know you might have different interests you might want to do certain clubs or you might want to you know kind of explore your identity to a degree so tip number one is to definitely just join the clubs and do the activities you genuinely want to do and don't care too much about what seems cool or you know, acceptable to, to the people around you. I think also it's very important to get into good study habits because middle school, to be honest, is much, much, much easier compared, uh, compared to high school. Like usually your teachers will always check in on you. You know, you'll get constant reminders. In high school, that's not so much the case. So I recommend using a productivity tool like Google Calendar or Notion or Todoist to make sure that you are staying on top of your things. Okay, so we can go ahead and build a house somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find a place to build a house. We could do it somewhere here, to be honest. Oh wait, let's go ahead and make a bed first so we can kind of skip through the nights. Uh, let's do this. All right, cool. And let's just throw the seeds out. All right, let's just go to bed. All right, where should we build the house? Do you guys wanna build it? Just in the plains, in the desert? Maybe we can go find a different biome. Let me know what you guys want to do. And I'm on fire right now. Okay. My volume is kind of off, so I can't really even hear if uh, mobs are next to me. <laughs> planes in the planes. Okay, cool. We'll do that. And what other questions do we have? More tips for high school. What music do you recommend for studying? I feel like... Okay, so math or science... I recommend soundtracks. So some of my favorite soundtracks will, would have to be Inception, Interstellar, Oppenheimer, The Social Network. Uh, if we're talking history and English, to be honest, I don't really listen or I used to not, I never really listened to music while uh, studying those subjects. But I feel like in that case, the best kind of music would be classical or lo-fi. Do we have any like junk that we can throw out? Yeah, we don't really need this pick. Okay, so I think we're gonna build a house somewhere in the plains. Let me just throw stuff out that I don't really need, yeah. So should we build it right here? I think we can, like this seems fine. Go ahead and say yes or no in the chat if this is where you guys wanna, wanna build it. Mount, oh my God, see I, 
Gotta turn my volume up a little bit. I did not, did not hear that creeper at all. Yes, yes, people are saying yes. Okay, let's go ahead and build it right here. Let's go ahead and patch this up first. Here, let me go ahead and do a poll. Do we build, build a house to 60%? You know what, we'll just do it right here, why not? What is the most useful AP class to take? So in terms of like real life utility, I would say AP Gov is really up there. AP Gov, AP Psych, AP Statistics. I would say A push is also important. Just having a general understanding of history. Okay, so we can build a house here. Let's go ahead and just start placing down our planks. Um, I'm not a solid builder, so I'll just make something very, very simple for now. And maybe we can expand it as time goes on. Classes for high school. Are you asking for like class recs in general? If you can give me a list of classes that you're choosing between, I'd be happy to help or give my input, but get a shield. True, we do need a shield. What is, yeah, this is way, why am I, this is way too small for a house. Okay, we got, yeah, I don't know why I even made it that small. Okay. Yeah, I don't want it to be like too large to begin. What do you recommend for students who don't know what to study? That's a good question. So I think there's a lot of pressure on feeling, feeling like you need to know what to study while you're in high school. And I think that's mostly because college applications ask you for your intended major, right? So I think a lot of uh, like juniors, seniors feel like they have to figure it out. The reality is you don't need to figure it out. In college, you can still change your major. For example, I had a lot of friends who didn't really f like settle on a major until they were a junior, which is pretty late, but it just comes to show that, you know, don't feel too much pressure while you're in high school. Uh, but in terms of kind of advice for figuring out what your intended major might be, I feel like ultimately you have to just try a bunch of different things. So, you know, for, first and foremost, you can reflect on your classes. Like just think about what classes you enjoy the most, but then outside of school, maybe just explore computer science on your own, or maybe explore, I don't know, some type of like scientific research. Uh, you could also do like maybe explore the arts, right? Cause maybe your school doesn't have like art classes or some sort of art program. And maybe it turns out that you like love doing um like love doing music or love doing like painting or, or something of the sort, which can ultimately help you figure out what you want to pursue while while you're in college. Okay. I think, let me answer one more question here. What is, what AP class did you enjoy the most? I enjoyed AP Calc a lot. Uh, I just enjoy math as a subject. And I feel like AP Calc was challenging. It required like a lot of like visualization almost like when you're doing like integrations and I don't know, I had a lot of fun doing it. Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream for tonight. Freshman classes. If you're trying to choose freshman classes, just take as many honor, honors courses as you can, because I'm assuming your school probably will not let you take AP or, or IB courses. But yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in tonight. I'll be hanging out in my Discord server later. So if you guys want to join, once again, the link is pinned to the stream chat. 
Uh, if you have any other questions that you want to ask me, feel free to DM me on Instagram. My handle is Gohar's Guide. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys had fun. And hopefully I'll be streaming again tomorrow night. So we'll see. Bye, guys. Hope you have a good night.